After COVID, my family made the decision to pack up and leave the city to homestead in a ghost town in one of the coldest and most remote places in the lower 48. We purchased an old abandoned church in the hopes of turning it into our dream home. The challenge of remodeling has escalated as we adjust to an unforgiving climate with winter wind reaching 40 below zero. Look at this. This is Lucy's first time in the chapel. <laughs> oh, you're so happy, aren't you? This is Luna's first time coming into the chapel. It's a really big room, huh? So I guess the uh, fluffies are going to be preaching at the pulpit. It is uh, a little over 40 degrees this morning inside the chapel. Bible stand, pulpit. This is for the speakers outside. There's a speaker on top of the building. So I guess you can preach to the entire neighborhood whether they want to hear it or not. Okay, what is all the meowing about? What is it, Lucy? We got our internet installed, which is awesome. Oh my goodness, I love that archway so much. So this is the choir stand. Lucy, are you going to be singing in the choir? Yeah? You're going to be my choir cat, huh? As new homesteaders, one of the most important things for us to take care of was to turn the old storage closet into a prepper's pantry. instrument at one point and um, I don't know I mean look at the uh, piano strings no good this is falling apart here it's just so beautiful I, I just I want to find a way to preserve part of this so whatever I do, I'm going to have to hurry up about it because my husband's on the way here to destroy it, smash it in a little bit so that we can take it to the junkyard. All oh, the keys are gone. I want to salvage some wood from it. Oh yeah, I pulled out the, 
all the bolts except for this one right here that I cannot get out. Will you stand back for a little bit? Uh, just for a minute. You also have cats running around down yep. here. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Help me with the piano first. Well, let's just go smash it in half real quick. Okay. I know you're so excited to smash things. Yeah, I am. Uh, here's, I have this thought. Okay, I want to make a table out of, like, a, just like a side entrance table. I see it. I know. I'm an artist. No. I see potential. Come on. Oh, I, I think I can make something beautiful out of it. I just, I was able to save a couple of the pieces that I have some ideas for, like for shelves and stuff. But I think like, this loose piece right here. Something. Lights. Camera. Action. Metal. Yeah, hey, wait, you should get a mask on. Get that mask on. I'm worried about metal. <laughs> well, I'm worried about your beautiful face getting hurt. Nah, I'll be fine. I'm stepping back a bit. Leaf was kind enough to accommodate me by repairing the old shell and painting it purple. All right. All right, well, we finished our food pantry shelves. And afterwards, I went ahead and added in some wall braces down here on the lower end and the back end. And against the wall, I put another board and drilled through it to support it high and middle. So that way this thing, no matter what, it's not going to move or shake and or fall over or collapse. So, yeah, now it just has to dry. Okay, so I finally have one room completely done that I want to show you. It's one of my favorite rooms already in the house. Ready? Go. Flax seed, flour, cornmeal, oh, and some wheat. Lucy. <laughs> Some of our emergency emergency buckets. Oh, lots more food all the way to the ceiling behind the water. It's back there too. Jake Max. Fake meat. There we go. Fake sausage. Popcorn. Lots and lots of cans. Food. Oh, there's my purple shelf. Jack and milk. Lots of these. All the way back. We get another case of it back there. This is important to have in an emergency. So is that. Black and red licorice. Lots of these soup mixes. Oh yeah, a ton of these two MREs. Creamy pasta with chicken. Stretch strawberries. Eggs. Tons of hamburger helper. For my friends in the city, this might seem like food hoarding. However, when you are homesteading, having reserves is a necessary part of life. This church that we got, it's in what is called a living ghost town, which means that almost everybody is gone. Um, there used to be people here, but they all left. They all got old and died, and the younger generation left. Um, there used to be hundreds of people that used to live in this town, 
but now I think there's they said there's only 44 people and some of them only or five of them <laughs> some people only <laughs> live here during like hunting season like they have a little cabin out here or something like that where they just come for a couple of months out of the year so there's not a lot of people here we have some really cool neighbors like everybody knows that we're here and everybody knows everybody that is yeah, everyone's here. been super nice it's oh, been yeah. a wonderful community and even in the different towns everyone's been super friendly out of here we love it okay so culturally and socially there's been some huge differences between here and when we used to live in the city like for example when we go to the restaurant um it's an know, hour drive well mm -hmm. yeah it's a really long drive to go anywhere um, but everybody is like talking with each other in the restaurant. Usually in the city, you just talk with the people sitting at your table, right? Well, there's no dominoes out here. So you basically gotta cook a lot of your own food. So one of the other adjustments I've had to make that has been a little bit difficult is regarding food. Um, usually I'm used to just walking or driving next door to the supermarket and getting whatever I need for a meal. We can't have that here. I'm, we're just about to get snowed in and we're not gonna have access to a grocery store for a really long time. And so we're getting our kids used to drinking like rice milk and stuff that is shelf stable and I'm having to learn to do a lot of cooking as well. Really putting ingredients together and making a meal. <laughs> I, know. I think the hardest part going to be for me is just you know leaving you all here while I go out to Georgia. Yeah. So, but this kind of stuff doesn't bother me. Yeah. It's been project after project. There's so many projects in this place. I learned how to be a plumber. Yeah. And a carpenter. Yeah. And I might learn how to be a blacksmith while I'm out of here. <laughs> so our friend has a forge. That's one of the things about uh, this place that's been a little bit difficult is. We can't just call a contractor up and say, hey, plumber or electrician. There's been so many wonderful people um, that we go to church with or that are in the community that have skills. And we've been so blessed. We're grateful to have our friend Dale uh, help us out because when we got our water turned on, our basement flooded because all the pipes had frozen. Mm -hmm. That's why I learned how to be a plumber. I yep. learned that p -flex is amazing. Yep, Dale came over and he helped us out and we were able to get water and that was such a blessing to be able to have water. I think that was another one of the difficult things with this process is that we had to really think about like prioritize our survival. Like what is the most important thing? You know, having heat because there was a little while where we didn't have any heat. Um, there was a little while where we didn't have water. And you know, just some of these basic things that are really important to have um, that's why we had dual residency for a little while because we couldn't, it wasn't safe to live here. You know, once we have some of those basic things and we start to worry about like sanitation. I mean, the, this building had been abandoned for many years. Just these very basic things before you can really get in to the fun stuff like the renovating. <laughs> so, and then we've had discoveries that have been well, good discoveries and... Not that. good <laughs> discoveries. <laughs> Oh, so, yeah, but overall, really great experience, and it's going good. Yeah, we're, we're having so much fun. We're exhausted, but we're having so much fun.